Today is a significant day for Heritage Park and for all of Canada, frankly, with the opening of the famous Five Centre of Canadian Women. Heritage Park will now be able to tell this important story that really has not been fully told before, the story of these five Albertans who made significant strides forward to shape the society that we have today. In addition to the five women, there are many more Canadian women that have significant stories that need to be told. And through this house and through this centre, we will be able to do that for future generations, for current generations and for new Canadians. So it is a significant project and we're thrilled to be able to uh, cut a ribbon on this today. Well, to our family, this is this is a, such an important recognition. But of Nelly, uh, Nelly's work, her body of work, is is getting well vet, wet and known. But more importantly, it's her commitment for social justice, which she did for the person's case, which she did of activity is so important. And, and it's a le lesson learned to my family, my daughters, my son. But more importantly, it's the engagement we're seeing with her. It's extraordinary. This house is a rep reproduction of the original Nellie McClung home, which is located in the Beltline of Calgary. The original home was built in 1907, and Nellie McClung and her husband Wes lived in that house from 1923 until 1932. For many very valid reasons, we decided that moving the original house to Heritage Park would have been too much of a risk for the house and for a significant piece of built heritage. But the important thing is, is that we could build a structure here which replicated the house but can also provide the context in which we can tell the story. So that's why we have built this replica of the house. We've made a little bit of change to it in order to put in classrooms and a library on the lower level so it becomes a year-round education centre as well. So we're thrilled with the way it's turned out and I think Nellie McClung and her colleagues in the Famous Five would have been pretty pleased.